Welcome to the broadcast, guys. Today, we are still flying solo. So, just a quick little how-to video. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna reset this post that's been set in concrete. The base of it is still encased in concrete. Instead of busting that concrete off, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna reset this post by myself. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull where this is going to mount up to that post and that way I'll be able to see exactly where I need to put my hole. Which may be easier said than done. Yeah, that Pull this loose and just kind of eyeball how that is lining up. It's lining up pretty well. We'll put everything in line that way. So it needs to still come this way a, a bit. Some may say, why didn't you just leave the hole that it was in? And that was actually right at the sinkhole. I had to dig the whole area out and recompact all of it. So there is no more hole to put it in. Very close. Very, very close. And this may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. It's as easy a way as I can think of right now. All right. That is good. I'm going to get everything in line. This fence obviously wasn't straight to begin with. Now two things I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some of my string and I'm going to tie from right under this cap to right under this cap. And that'll give me roughly a straight line to work with. String. String is your friend in this business, believe me. Ask just about anybody else to. Is this going to be perfect? Probably not, but we can get it close. Can't we? And pull that tight. Give it a couple of twists. Very good. Now just to make things even easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and let the string forever. I'm just tying this off. If I had enough room, I would have just pulled that spool through the fence, but we just don't have that kind of room today. So see there, it pulls that in line. Now, what I also want to do is, I want to tie up to the bottom here. It doesn't necessarily have to be level, just straight. Just like a dot. That string will burn me dick and bloody fingers, believe me. All right. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and tie. is cheap anyway, huh? So I'm going to let that string pull everything straight. And once it's straight, I'm going to tie this a little high so I can drag that back out from under it. The string's got a little bit of a stretch to it, so it's easier to pull everything where we want it. Oh, 
definitely easier with two people, but I am just having to fly solo today. Just going to tie it right there. Make life as easy on yourself as you can, especially if you're working by yourself. Do you ever pull a muscle in your back and it hurts to take a deep breath in? That's my life today. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I got my lines that I can look down through both of them and see straight down. So my next step is this. I'm going to make a shape roughly the size of this right here. Just marking the ground. Now I'm going to dig my hole quite big and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to line this up right next to my string. See if I can get it on the ground just a little. Right there. And then we got this right here. I'm just putting it right against the string, letting it hang straight down. Kind of my guide. We're just going to wiggle him into the ground. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. All right. That is laid out pretty good. Now, now then, all we gotta do is pull that thing out of the way for a second without messing our string up. Just for the edge, because we're gonna lift this whole thing up and let it drop in that hole when we're ready. All right. These long pointy shovels are perfect for this. So what I can do is use my shovel to kind of measure and eyeball the diameter of this. So the width of this is about half the width of our concrete plug, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the string and I'm going to pull it out a little bit to give myself some extra breathing room. And I'm going to make my mark. Pile there in case I need some backfill. And boy, did I pack this ground good. <laughs> That's gonna work against me, isn't it? Yes, sir. Man, that ground set up good. I don't believe we're gonna have any more sinkage here. Oh, yeah, a little bit softer that time. Put the quietus on this. All right. Let's hurry this along a little bit. Anybody who says I didn't compact that ground Come on and get you a shovel full. Whew. Over there. All right, let's set that in there and see how we line up. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now these nuts and bolts have to line up right here. That piece of flat bar in that chain link's gotta go in here and then I gotta skinch them down. Easy enough, right? Yeah. Now let's see if we can get this thing to cooperate. Maybe. We'll see. When this thing sank in, it broke a couple of these end brackets, which I've not been charged. Anymore. What are you doing down there? Back up here. Pay attention. Now, well, let's see. I'm just being uh, a little bit of a pain. Yeah. Now, that way. Right here. There now. Let's see if I can just pull him straight there. 
Uh-oh. There we are. <laughs> I was about to say, oh crap. I've done dropped my bolts, screws and such. It still isn't very easy by yourself, but I have no choice, so I will improvise and overcome. There you go. I'll just get this one started. There. Look at that. We're getting there, folks. There's one. Let's get us some nutting. There's the third one down there at the bottom. Now, I'll start this middle one and just kind of work it in toward me. Let's see what we got. Whoever designed these things did not have the Todd in mind. Oh shit, I to get to that bar when I get to it. I don't know. I might have to. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's put that last one on the bottom. If we can get it, we'll have her made. Yeah. Let's see. I need to really get that one right there. Yep. That's what I need to do. Let's see. If I can just get this last one started, folks. All I need to do is go on that inside, don't I? Yeah, boy. Well. I'm just going to what I want to do. This one. I can't really tell where each one was. Very, very good. Got my own hands in the way here. Let me go around to that inside, I guess. I guess. I gated myself out. Now, I'm on the right side of the tracks. Come on. Hey, come on. There we go. Old Toddy can do it. There. Now, we got something. Now, we've got something, folks. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way yet. But I still got to set that bottom there. Let me get out here. Now, we got something. We got something to work with. Now, see this? Bottom's got to come in. We're at the right height, roughly. It's got to come in. So, what are we going to do? Use our brain and leverage. Get everything lined up. Brains and leverage. I ain't got much of either one. There now. Let's see what that game is. Well, we're getting there. So I need to bring this toward me just to scoot. Boy. Look at that. That's pretty dang good, I think. That is pretty good. Actually, see this is holding us. So I'm gonna loosen these up. Yeah. Now See what we got. There. That's what I needed. I need to get that twist. That moved it a good bit. 
Alright, everything looks pretty solid. The strings are untangled here so I can see what they are saying. That string says I gotta go that way. This string says it looks good. Right there. So our height is good. Now see everything's holding itself for right now. Enter pea gravel. Okay, five bucks. This is your extra set of hands to help hold things. Now, if this had been, and I meant to dig my hole low, we just got lucky and it's the right height. What I would have done is dig it too low and pour some of this pea gravel, maybe just about that deep around it. And then I could have picked up on this and that pea gravel would have fell up under this and you would just pick this up to about the height that you want it to be at and then set it back down on the pea gravel once it's fell under there and you can check your height. If you need to go higher and you still have gravel around the edges, you can lift it up a little bit more and more pea gravel will fall under there. The smaller the pea gravel and the smoother, the rounder, this is just pebble rock from Ace Hardware. I personally would not use sand because once you get it in there, if you're sides are not sloped and you pick up on it there's a chance that that sand as fine as it is would lock in and not want to fall down very easy and believe me after somebody's put an 80 pound bag of concrete or even a 40 in here this thing's not that easy to lift so whew, i'm just going to split this bag open and i'm going to pour it around and then I'm gonna wiggle this. I'm, I'm not gonna pour a whole lot, maybe about this much. The whole hole is about that deep. I'm gonna pour about a third, and then I'm just gonna wiggle this, keeping it in contact with my strings, and that gravel will work its way down and tighten up on this core here. Where's my knife? All right, folks. And what you can do if you can't get to both sides very good, you can just pour a little in there and then reach down in there and wiggle it around. I got enough room to get in there to get the gravel all the way around it. Luckily, about that whole bag, just do what I want it to. Yep, sure enough. Especially since we're so close to being centered, I'm not gonna need a lot of wiggle room, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the whole thing. Let me grab you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see our string right here. It's tight. And this one too. This is the main one. See how firm it is already? Come up side to side a little. Now I'm gonna check and see how things are lining up. See how we're this way a little bit and a little high? We need to wiggle it this way. I'm going to wiggle it until these two crowns are even. They're really, actually, it's almost dead on, almost. Just give him a tuggy tug. Each time I pull on it, that bottom's tightening up. Oh, yeah, we're dead on now. See our latches? Good. All right, now, where's my slide lock? Where'd I put you? Where to put it? There it is. Okay. Now, this is the slide lock. Yeah. Like this. I'm put this right here, and gently, I'm gonna lock this. Get everything in place. And I'm just gonna 
mash that in just a little bit there's our gate next step concrete actually I actually told you guys one I'm gonna agitate this gravel I don't want to like manipulate my base really I'm just wanting to agitate this gravel and get it to lock in a little bit better I'll see like watch this <laughs> that is pretty solid already This may be boring to some people, but maybe it'll help somebody too. Now we'll do our concrete. This is just your regular bag of concrete. Now if somebody calls you saying I need a post set, my materials between my little bag of gravel and this was a little over nine bucks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna split this joker. Get like, oh, you ain't gonna mix it? No. No, I'm not. I'll tell you why in a minute. It might be better to uh, mix it in, but you don't have to. Quick read, you don't have to. Now, <clears throat> let that dust settle down for a minute. I'm going to clean up my trash here. Next up, let that donut around this thing. I could technically just cover this up with dirt, and that concrete will draw enough moisture out of the ground to set up just like it is. But I got a little extra water in the truck, so let's go ahead and get it started. This really is not necessary just so y'all know i've never had this not work before so you concrete guys are going to raise cane with me that's okay now now then could have done this with concrete if it was wet i'd have domed it up but this looks like galvanized anyway I'm gonna take my little bit of fill dirt that I saved and I'm gonna work around this post and then I'm gonna kind of form it into a cone so water runs away from this post and this post should last longer than any of them. In theory. In theory. back up thank you guys for watching me i hope you'll like the video subscribe help a poor old hillbilly afford some new stuff i hopefully hopefully you guys are having a great day i know i am now i'm gonna spread some seed out throw some straw call this project done and we will see you on the next one if you subscribe thanks for watching